What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. In Penny's Pursuit, there are some brand new zombies. This is uh, the Z Corp Incorporated uh, set of zombies. Z Corporation arrives to implement their monotonous office procedures. Stop them now in Penny's Pursuit. This like type of stuff, every time I see this type of stuff, it's like what it would be like had they added more worlds, you know, when they they brought in the Roman zombies, now they have like this Z-Tech, like maybe a world that was completely run by Z-Tech Corporation. Super cool, you know, Z-Tech, uh, I don't know where it was first from, but I've, I've seen it in Plants vs. Zombies, you know. <laughs> the Garden Warfare Battle for Neighborville, one of those two. Uh, anyway, I don't remember which one. We're going to play, and we're going to do Penny's Pursuit. Look at that. That's a great image. I'm going to take a screenshot of that image, just in case I use it for something. I like that image a lot. Anyway, we're going to play Penny's Pursuit and uh, Quest Complete. Let's go and click this so we don't, yeah, I don't want anything to expire. You know, I don't want, to, I don't want them to pile up. What do we got in the store here? There's an exclamation point. We got the the gum nut, I guess, back in store right now. If you wanted to catch up on some of that, like maybe you could use it. It's back in store. Penny's Pursuit. Let's do it. Let's have some fun with it. Uh, we got five stages here, six days remaining. We get Blooming Heart uh, for doing it. We're going to do three pepper challenges, even though this is all brand new to me. I want to see what these zombies are like. Maybe they'll show up in the Almanac after this. That'll be cool if they do. But hey, let's fight. New zombies. That's what we're looking for. I don't know anything about them. But I want to learn so much about them. Survive and protect the endangered plants. Electrify one zombies 100 times. I can do that. If we do the quick delivery perk that's conveyor belt faster. Three zombies hypnotize a cherry picker. Adds cherry bomb to the conveyor. That sounds useful. Um, delay zombies. Let's do it. But it's only 1.5 seconds. What does that really get me, anyway? Look at all these new zombies. They're all <laughs> holding mugs. I like it. All right, so we're talking about electrify zombies. Put that out there. Protect. Let's see. So I have the hurricane in order to push things away. I hope I can just kind of do this on my own. Uh, these zombies seem pretty strong. These lightning reeds are not damaging them fast enough, in my opinion, but... Let's see, let's, let's, uh... Let's see how we, let's see how we hold off here. We're gonna, I'm gonna do this. Boom! That imp is still in play. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now here come... Some big, big boys here. Big boys coming out. I don't know what I should use my uh, ability for, but, oh, Cherry Bomb, obviously. I'm gonna push this guy back. He's, he's coming on a bit too strong for me. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna get 100 zombies, you know. I'm gonna try, of course. Now, I don't know what's so special about some of these office ones, but that's coming too close for comfort as well. And, you know, if I could get rid of... I mean, he's still alive. Oh, my gosh. Can you start slowing down, please? What the heck? Someone someone, stop him, please. You can be delayed there, hopefully. My goodness. I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. Please get back. Way back. Um, so this thing is in danger right now. But, boom. I had to do that. Oh boy, yeah, this is tough. This is tough. I haven't even electrocuted enough zombies yet. I don't know how else to make this happen how I want it to. I'm gonna just push forward right there. Citron now? Did I lose my plant? Great. Boom, that's like the best place for it, honestly. I, I don't even know how to handle this. Uh, sure. Nope, that wasn't enough. That imp is out here doing a lot of damage. Well, oh well, okay. You know, if I could get another, uh, yeah, cherry bomb would be good, of course. Push all of those guys back. This is a nightmare, dude. This is real tough. Like, nearly every row, we're in danger. The bottom row, we gotta be really careful with, though. 
simply just because of I mean I can't I can't unleash another lawnmower. Uh here, I'm gonna I got lucky and got both of those people. Somehow, still, this has gone on way longer than I would have liked it. Oh, I put the wrong plant there, that's for sure. Uh, darn, I thought I could finish him off with a cherry bomb. I mean, we're going to be fine. He's going to trigger the lawn. Nope. I, oh, dang it. I thought I could save him from doing that. But I, we're still not, not going to get any of the bonus done, unfortunately. But these guys are going down. No bonus. I, I don't quite know what's special about the Z-Tech zombies yet. But we did win. And thus we got some gems. Not as many gems as I spent to play it. So overall maybe not worth it. But quest complete. Again, let's not let it fill up. Let's collect that quest. There we go. Now, um, let's. I want to check out the almanac and see if these zombies are here. See if the new Z-Tech zombies are listed. So many zombies from so many eras. Uh, so yeah, they did put the Roman ones in. They haven't, oh yeah, I guess they only put in the ones I've seen. That's interesting. So this is just a uh, this is a Z Cap Z Corp Conehead and a Z Corp con Contractor Conehead. <laughs> so the Z Corp Conehead is a typical Z Corp employee, except with more on his mind. Uh, Z Corp leads the field in large Z cone. Z I mean, sorry, large cone shaped push pins for cranial safety. Oh, those are push pins in the head. That, I just noticed those. It's a combination of notebook and comically large pushpin that really gives this contractor the edge. Z Corp contractors may purchase Z Corp office supplies for a small fee. <laughs> so this is like kind of what it would be like, you know, if we got extra worlds, you know, with brand new zombies and stuff. Unfortunately, they're kind of relegated to these modes, but that's okay. That's you know, I'm playing the modes. I'm happy enough. So let's see what we got going on here. All right. Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. Ash zombies 25 times. Ash zombies. Faster conveyor belt, please. Um. Let's hypnotize some zombies here. More office employees. <clears throat> Ash zombies. I'm going to start there. All right, we'll attack the ice now. It's okay. I'm just worried that, you know, he'll, he'll get across. I expect these things to be kind of refrozen quickly, probably. Now, how do you ash them? With fire, I assume. Actually, does this do it? That does the trick. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. More office base zombies. Oh, middle, we need something in the middle here. Boom, ashed. Let me ask you a question. I need like a few more fire base zombies, please. For the middle, if I can. Jeez Louise, there we go, there we go. Now I could definitely put that over there, there you go. If I could, if I could get more. What? Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was oh my god, what a bummer! What a major bummer! There we go. My god. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Alright, um, we're almost there. We're almost there. 
They're throwing snowballs at me. Now, how do I do this? Give me a cherry bomb, please. He got through. He got through. But the zombies have been ashed. I suppose. Darn, man. They tore right through that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. These guys are getting aggressive. Even though we've done all that we've been asked to do. Uh, here. I did that because that guy had an ice head. Okay, this is promising. I went after the ice head guy. This is looking pretty good. Other than the fact we failed at least one mission. And we're done. I think. We even kind of got some symmetry going on there. We did get one bonus objective and we got some uh, blooming hearts. So I don't know if we'll see any more office type zombies, but so far what we've seen has been pretty good. Um, let me see. Hold on one second. We got, um, let me see. Yeah, we could do, yeah, let's do level three, of course. Four gems. The gems aren't really worth it to me because I spend more to do it than anything else. But they're not, I mean, it's still a fine reward. So, uh, what I would like to do Destroy 15 gravestones, survive and protect the endangered plant. Uh, if these are all conveyor belt stages, then perfect. Let's do the shield this time. Here we go. These graves will probably be easy to be destroyed, I hope. Up top there, there we go. I can't imagine this being much. I can't imagine this one becoming difficult, but maybe it is. Maybe it will. I guess I should have put it. Hmm. All right. All right, here they come. Mugs in hand. That'll actually help protect that one a little more if I, if I, if I, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's an imp with a gargantua on his back, oh my gosh, what the heck, do another one, and the gargantua is here, oh my god, the gargantua is effective, uh oh, uh oh, this gargantua is too effective, what the heck, what the heck, dude, he just threw a giant, he just threw a gargantua, dude, what, are you kidding me? Can we, can we not have him, please? Thank you. Oh, great. They broke through the top. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh. All right. Here. I'm going to try to protect this one. Oh, boy. That gargantua threw me off, dude. What the heck was that? Here. Just put that there. Please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So we did not, did we not protect, yeah, we didn't protect the thing that we were, we were meant to protect. Oh well. Please, please, please go away. They're destroying everything again. I might have to t result to, okay, resort. Oh man. You know what, fine. That imp being there is terrible, dude. The, the gargantuars are awful. What the heck is this? 
They throw a really strong Gargantuar. I don't have any way to defend that top row. I'm going to have to fling, fling that top row away. I don't have any protection. The fact that he's so aggressive. Here, blow him up. Even then. Nope. G get away. At least we can flick him away. We cannot flick away the Imp. That is incredible. So we did not... We got one more here. Let's destroy one more. We got one more grave to destroy. Please make it happen. Please. I think we did it. We did get the bonus of destroying the grave. So the conveyor belt levels up to level two. That's good. Just wow. Just wow. Okay, so we got um, level four coming up. 15. Okay, yeah, we need that. We need that for sure. Give me those 15 blooming hearts, won't ya? So, um, don't let the zombies trample the flowers. Electrify zombies 40 times. So this is not, this doesn't seem to be a conveyor belt stage. Let's do that potato mine thing. That was incredible. That imp was incredible. Like what? I've never. I get to choose. Well, you know I'm gonna choose, right? Can I not bring in sun? I can't. Well, if we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. If I'm gonna use electricity, I'm gonna use electricity then. And what else? I don't even know what else to use at this point. That, I suppose. Maybe this. Maybe some uh, explosive. Oh, this. That would be helpful. I don't know what to. I don't know what all to use. Some ideas. That might be a weak idea, but I'm going to try to make it work. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Let's rock. I don't know, man. There we go. Let's hope that this is good enough. There we go. All right, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. There you go. 12 left. I have a feeling this is going to go well. But I don't know that for sure. I mean, they ate that one. There we go. We did the, we did the bonus thing. So far, so good on this, I think. There you go, that's what we needed. Uh, okay, final final wave. These are the bucket head ones, huh? I hope that works. There's like a couple left. They're gonna get sucked in. There you go. Perfect, we got both of them done. Hitting level two on both of those. So, um, yeah, we can fight Zomboss, and we will. But I'm gonna go over here. This is some brand new territory for me. Man, that imp was hilarious. And this is what? Oh, break open vases, yes. Vase breaker on this? I love it. I'll take all the perks. I don't even know, man. What? Losing a plant? No. What? Repick. What? What's the perk? Don't lose more than three plants. Okay. Then never mind. Those two only. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Probably. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Dude, I don't know what to expect out of this. I'm gonna put this down here in a second. As soon as she walks past. And I'll put this one up here too. Oh, they got hypnotized. Perfect. That's perfect. Wait, it's every what? So we can time this. If I if I really timed it to know like every X number of seconds they get hypnotized, I would know to open up vases at that time and easily walk away with a victory here. Let's just break this. That's good. See, none, none were there. I imagine it'll be coming up soon, though. So if we could just chill out a little bit. I don't know how long. I could time it on my phone. Penny shield perk. We know the hypnosis is coming soon enough. So we can be comfortable having three out. There you go. So it's after the shield perk. We just kind of wait. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. So the shield perk will happen. All right. Well, we know that she's gonna get hypnotized soon, right? What what happened, dude? I don't know what to do with this. Well, let's do that, I guess. There it happened. So that with that, uh, maybe the timing is a little off. Yeah, yeah, the timing's off. I, I it wasn't after the shield perk. It's, there's, they're on different timers. So, yeah, I don't know how long to wait, honestly. Oh, we don't need it there. What am I doing? Yeah, there's a hypnotized zombies perk, which we don't need again. This seems easy. I'm, like, waiting for there to be, like, one of those gargantua things behind it. What the heck, dude? Wow. Okay. This is way easier than I thought it was going to be. Wait a second. Why did we lose plants? Oh, uh, you know what? I, I get it. I don't know why we lost plants. Oh, the ghost pepper! Oh, whoops. So don't you, man, if you want to gain some points, that's an that's an easy way to get that upgraded. Like, if you want to just grind that one, you can get so many points. If you use that hypnotized perk and just time it. So, like, let's see. Let me, let me see here. I kind of want to do it again. We've already got the reward out of it. But we can get 10... Of these here, let's let's get ten of these then, shall we? So what is the what is it? Let me pull up a timer on my phone. This could be brilliant. All right, we got it. We got it. Understood. So we got a, a, a stop. Well, let's do a stopwatch. It's uh, every twenty eight seconds. Okay. And we could do it for free. So if I add this in, it costs five gems. So 28 seconds. I want to see how many seconds it is on fast forward. Let's let's go ahead and start start placing these things though. Uh. All right. As soon as it happens, hold on. All right, I, t I started timing it. I'm gonna see if we're in double speed or what. I don't know what we're in. I don't think we're in double speed. Okay, so it so it happens in about 18 seconds. Interestingly enough. So in a second here, I'll just. Uh, 
Let's see. Okay. I missed it. But <laughs> this is some riveting gameplay, I know. But check this out. What I'm going to do is when my timer goes by 15 seconds. I just restarted it, by the way. I should have pushed the lap. When it, comes, when it goes by, let's say, 14. There you go. Lap. And then when it goes by 14 again, I'll open up like another three. Or even, even like 13, honestly. Look at that. Look at that. How amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, in ten sec in, in ten seconds I'm gonna do it because this will give them enough time. There you go. Look at that. I'm just ca I'm, ca I'm just capturing them with the hypnotize effect. This is a free effect that you can use, and then uh, you just gotta be patient with it. So. Uh oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? All right, and then I'll open up the rest of these in just a second here. It's gonna be super easy. Super duper easy. And we won. And we got the 10. That's an incredible thing. And we get two perks upgraded. So just imagine just imagine we could just grind that out. We could we can max out all of our perks by just with a little patience grinding it out. It's super easy. You don't even need of course it does cost fuel. Keep that in mind. We're gonna fight Zomboss though. Let's see what's going on with Zomboss here. I think it glitched. There we go. Get twenty right there. Let's play. Let's see what's up. Now we're gonna try to attack him like crazy. Uh, let's see. All right, so I have an easy. Like <laughs> it won't let me do it. Uh, deplete nine zombie boss health bars in three minutes. So if we're gonna use, yeah, let's do the boss buster perk. I don't mind. I don't mind uh, traffic jam or. Shield. Actually, let me do the, the hypnotize. And shield will beat him. Look at that giant imp, dude. That is hilarious. Uh, so, I don't think we need sun. I'm going to be upset if we needed sun, though. These stages, they tend to drop down sun. So, I'm going to bring in what I, I think I'm going to need, which is that. And then, um, you know, maybe... Maybe, what do you think? Some explosives? I think we're, we're going to be good. Bowling bombs might work better, but especially since they're they have vests on. So what the hey? Let's just bring in bowling bulbs too. And then I never remember where they are, so I just gotta, I gotta go find them. There they are. And then if we're gonna do that appeasement, I don't know if we're gonna need, if we need sun. I'm gonna be like, well, have to redo it because I don't have the sun with me right now. So, uh, let's just, let's, we'll start off simple. Which is just like a lot of electric pea shooters. And let's see if it gives us uh, anything that we really want here. And this should, you know, we should take care of these guys really quick like this. So sun is indeed falling. We also have Blooming Hearts here, which is interesting. And now they're dancing. And we're going to have another filament coming up real soon. Like right now. Boom. Perfect. Now, like I said... Here, I'm going to try to... Uh... Now, see, I think we beat him without him even... I'm going to use this too, even though I don't think that we need it. This will put out some peas at least. Oh no, I see I have... Uh... Alright, this is good. See, I have one space to put the filament. And he's not quite beaten yet, but we got a minute and 30. 
And so, I mean, these are so easy to place down. I don't know if, uh, man, that, that guy, man, that freaking, freaking guy. We got him. The, the tiny gargantuars are such a menace. It's surprising just how effective, and the sound cut out. It's still an issue with the sound here, I guess. He's got one more level. Now, I do wonder, you know, are bowling bulbs better? We could give it another try with bowling bulbs. We're going to win this one, though. But we could try with bowling bulbs. I don't mind. But this stops the chicken, so I don't know how effective the bowling bulbs are going to be. We could always mix it up some. Because right now, we're doing great. We got them. We've beaten them. We've done everything we need. We just got to live for 30 more seconds. And really, we could, we could be deleting these and putting in new ones in hopes of getting the... Uh, the ability to, to, to go out. Great. Right there. Look at that. Oh, he tried. He tried. Super effective. Look at this. Super duper effective. Oh, here comes the Gargantua again. But even if he were to get me there, it wouldn't matter. Because he we, we did it. We did it. That's a total victory. We got 20 uh, Blooming Heart Seed Packets. We got some other stuff as well. And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. But let's try out Bowling Bulb. I don't, I don't know how it's going to work. I, the chickens concern me. Let's go ahead and collect on our quest. Yeah, we're fine. So with the Bowling Bulb, the chickens concern me, but I'm just curious what happens here. Might as well give them another go. Three Pepper Challenge. 20 uh, Blooming Heart Seed Packets. That's going to be good. That's going to work. I do believe so. So. Here we go. I don't know if Bowling Bulbs are going to be any better. But I'm going to use the Boss Buster, the Shield, and the Hypnotize. And we'll see if the Bowling Bulbs work better. We'll bring in the same exact things. In fact, if we if the Bowling Bulbs aren't working, we can quickly pivot to uh, to the rest. These are not... No, no, no. These are not cheaper at all. Okay, there we go. Let's rock. Here we go. Ready, set, plant. Here we go. Now, he's actually going to target me. He actually got me a little bit. Now, with that said, I don't mind using the uh, filament when the going gets tough. In fact, we might mix it up just a little bit. Honestly, I just realized that we might want to mix it up just a tiny little bit, but let's stick with just all bowling bulbs for a second. Next round, I'll probably mix it up some. He's almost totally defeated, by the way. Maybe those chickens are no big deal for us. Those chickens seem like no big deal. Now, here's the concern, is that this gargantua here is a real nuisance. Yep, that I told you that was a concern. It slowed us down big time. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I I I mean maybe oh my gosh. So these th now that these gargantuars are not as good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these go. Oh man. Yeah, see we're seeing the limitations here. We've totally beaten this guy. We're gonna have to pivot now. We, I'm gonna have to pivot. He's gonna take away a lawnmower, but the lawnmowers do they keep coming back or are they gone? Yeah, we're gonna have to pivot a little bit. We're gonna have to pivot just a tiny bit. We can keep some of the bowling bulbs, I think. All right, here comes a mess. Here comes a mess. Okay, great, thank you. We're pivoting to electric pea shooters because of the fact that uh, we, ha I mean, he's already defeated. We defeated him quickly with bowling bulbs. So we're, I'm just gonna put in like this two and a half columns right here that you see of, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't do it. There we go. I stopped him. I think I stopped him. I think I managed to stop him. So here we go. Penny shield perk sticking in. This is, this is good. This is good. Look, we're getting a lot of gold. We're getting diamonds. So a hybrid strategy. Hybrid strategy is where it's at, my friends. This is really great. We are really beating him here. And that plays very well for me. I'm going to put that there. It's going to be on him. Maybe not perfect, but here it is. Put that down, please. 
finally got him, man. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes it's like we we are doing well, and then like it, it it all catches up to us, and then I don't know, man. That's maybe maybe just electric pea shooters are where it's at. Like maybe you put up put down bowling bobs and then quickly pivot to only electric pea shooters. I have no idea. We had six seconds left though, so this is fine. Yeah. So that okay, that's awesome. We got the 20 seed packets, by the way. So, um... I guess we do one more. Another 20 seed packets coming our way. For the Blooming Heart, which I don't mind. Got nearly like 100 new seed packets today. And so, um, let's end it off with this final fight. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in everything that we had before. Except instead of, I'm, I'm not gonna bring that in. I'm gonna bring in this. Hypnotizing them is, is good. Also adds a little bit of randomness. So, same exact strat. Except I really do think I'm gonna, I'm gonna spruce it up just a little bit here. Um... Let's rock. Let's see what we can get done here. I want to see this work. I'm going to go mostly bowling bombs at first. I'm going to keep, you know, this, this nice, even, you know, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, oh man, that was not great. Here, I don't know if that's gonna work. I got him quickly. This guy's going down pretty soon. I do feel the need to go ahead now and start putting more electric pea shooters in place. Because really no matter, yeah, okay, he's gonna destroy me again. Yeah, he's easily taken care of, honestly. This is, this is fine. There we go. Pretty, oh my god, are you joking, kidding me right now? Wow. All right, I'm just gonna replace everything I've lost. Most things are gonna be electric pea shooter at this point, honestly. Because it's like, the, the, the bowling bulbs are quick and good, but when certain conditions are met, they become really fragile. Boom. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? How did he even get through again? I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happening right now. There we go. I don't understand it, honestly. Goodness gracious, man. He's kind of got me on the ropes a little bit. Like, we've beaten him, but I'm close to being beaten myself. Look at that. We got two gems. Wow, he triggered the lawnmower there. All right. 30 seconds to live. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so this bowling bulb thing is a mixed bag. Like, it gets great results but then it puts you in jeopardy pretty quick after that. Here, put, put down another one. There you go. Hit him hard. We got a lot of rewards, and that's good. That's good. Okay, well, that's a victory. Three times in a row. I don't even know where my bowling... I mean, where my uh, blooming heart's at in terms of total number of uh, seed packets... Okay, we, we still got a long way to level 9. But hey, thank you guys for watching. We had new zombies, and that is so cool. I want to go find out really quick about that uh, imp with the gargantuar on its back while uh, Zomboss is out to lunch. And that would be in the zombie almanac. Scroll way over. I feel like they should have these in two columns or something. I don't know, man. 
So yeah, a lot of them are here. Okay, so hold up. This is the head office imp Imgentuar. His giant noggin is a blunt instrument of smashing. Head office Imgentuar's door is always open. It is, however, highly inadvisable to take him up on that offer. And this is Gargimp Legal. Tiny but fierce, the Gargimp Legal Department is the best and the beast in the business. Gargimp Legal delivers cease and desist the old-fashioned way with a baseball bat. <laughs> uh, we have the regular zombies here. Z Corp new hire, a typical Z Corp Incorporated employee. He was issued the standard Z Corp coffee mug at orientation. And the contractor as well. Uh, Z Corp is so, inclusive, is so inclusive, so they even give contractors free coffee mugs. Okay. Nice. We saw the uh, Z Corp conehead. But the Buckethead, an environmentally friendly recycle bin, protects the, the employee's noggin from damage. Z-Corp fully complies with all local, state, and federal waste disposal ordinances. The contractor, though. Recycle bins make excellent and environmentally friendly headgear. Z-Corp encourages his contractors to come up with out-of-box solutions for, for keeping their heads safe. <laughs> and there we go. That's all that we've encountered now. There's going to be more. But I thank you for watching. That was really fun. I'll see you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.